Head for open water! Be danger ahead, Commander. The Bay of Marathon is oh. You know, the battle where a handful of Athenians push back the first Persian invasion. Mm. The great Themistocles. King Darius of Persia. I'm not sure. The site where the great Theseus slayed the vicious Cretan bull. Oh, that marathon! <sighs> You're both hopeless. Thank you. We live another day, Commander. Cassandra, there's a, a question I need to ask you. Go on. Your spear. How did you find it? My mother told me that the Spartan army brought it back in the Battle of Thermopylae. Why bring it back to her? Their leaders was her father. Incredible. And they teach you vision. Perhaps he's trying to guide you, show you a path. There's more. It helps me in battle. What do you mean? I can't really describe it. It's like I know what my opponent's next move will be just before it happens. Fascinating. This is just extraordinary. We are approaching the island of Andros, Kazami. Yes, here we can see the tomb of the greatest Myrmidon, Achilles. I was more excited by the fact that Andros exports some of the most expensive marble in the world. Is this the place with the rumored ancient city?
Civilization ruins you were talking about? It is. Look for a large gate. Here it is. door? I've never seen anything like it before. How do I get inside? I wonder if... Hesitation only hastens. The grave, I know, Mater. Your form is improving. Your resolve is strong. But you're not taking action. I was going to. I know. But it's the moments in between that decide everything. Your turn. Leonida's spear. You're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but you're ready. Something. Huh? The spear. It has magic. Carries with it a long line of power. A bloodline of incredible heroes. The same blood within you and me and our family. All of us? Think of Leonidas. He had great courage. And he made a great sacrifice. You share in his blood and the strength he possessed. We are able to feel certain things happening around us. That is our family's gift. But not everyone understands that. Some recognize the power we bear and want it only for themselves. They will try to take it from us. I won't let them. I know. You're a warrior. If we keep moving forward, always moving forward, we're untouchable. Storms coming in. Then maybe we should move forward now. <laughs> Mother, I haven't forgotten you.
Elvis. How does a place like this exist? How could I even explain this to someone like Marcos? Something's glowing over there. This imprint is shaped like the sword Demos had at the cultist's meeting. Was it forged in this place? Activated. Synchronizing retransmission chronosity. Contact engaged. Themos. The Forge. I knew I let you stay in the Animus too long. Your vitals are crashing. You don't understand. This confirms it. Cassandra didn't just have Isu technology. She had the means to improve it. Imagine how powerful the staff could be. I admit, that could be an incredible find. But right now, I'm the doctor, and I take care of you. Now get some rest before you go back to Cassandra. If you insist, but only because I've got work to do on the outside. Please, just clear your head. The last thing we need is a cell leader suffering from the bleeding effect and spearing us because we're Hittites or Thracians. I won't, but Thracians throw great parties. Don't forget, we're a team. We'll back you up until you're finished your investigation. I know. Kyoshi secured the loft yesterday and he's keeping an eye out. Elena's on call doing historical research. And I'm here to talk if you're feeling any confusion from the Animus. Always the therapist. So, Doctor, how do you feel now that we're closer than ever to the staff? I believe this staff is important. But the Templars and Assassins have found staves of Eden before. Nikolai Tesla blew one up in Russia, if I remember correctly. This is different. If what I saw in Egypt is true, this staff doesn't control minds. It controls physics. Time. Imagine rewriting the rules of the universe. The spear you found is right here, and it's not doing anything. The spear is attached to a bloodline. Leonidas, Cassandra, and Themos, I mean, Alexios, they were intimately connected to it. Are you sure you can use the Staff of Hermes, then? No. But if the Templars get it, they won't stop until they find someone who can. So, what do you think of my new Animus? You mean, our new Animus? That's Abstergo equipment. Which I've modified to within a millimeter of its digital life. It's an Animus console prototype, Brahman variant, with the IO capacities pushed to their max. Ultra portable with more calculating power than NASA and CERN combined. I'll go stretch my legs. Too bad we don't have access to the Abstergo gym anymore, huh? Membership costs too much. Eagles are fine and all, but a pet monkey would be even cooler. But 
Center of the universe, circa 400 BCE. I should check. Fascinating. Layla, can you believe we're meeting Herodotus himself? I can. He sure does talk a lot. Is there anything I can help you with? So does what I'm seeing as Cassandra match your research? I had to tweak the Animus to use what we have of the book as reference. That book is a lost work by Herodotus. He basically invented the concept of recording history. And other figures are matching up too. Cleon, Pericles... The chance to see the past firsthand is why I joined the Assassins. Most people would talk about justice or leaping across rooftops, but history is cool too. I've loved history since my grandpa told me stories about his grandpa back in Ireland. He was an adventurer and sailor, so I'm continuing the family tradition. I feel so lucky. You make your own luck, remember? Why do people keep telling me that? So I've met Irodotos, but I don't know much about him. He's brilliant. His histories are considered the foremost textbook of classical Greece. People have made their careers analyzing his words for some new perspective. To see him in his own world, walking in the polis, and... Sorry, but he's kind of a hero of mine. You can fangirl all you want. Yay! I'll leave you to your work. If you need anything, just let me know. How's it going out there? Well, no threats in view. I'm glad we could work together again. I believe our working methods are compatible. Are you still upset about our last run-in with Abstergo? I'm sorry, I didn't realize those hills in Quebec were so steep. But hey, you and your Yakuza reflex has saved us! Sorry, ex-Yakuza. We're all alive and our injuries have healed. That's what matters. Of course, I'll return to the Animus, then follow the trail Irodotos left to find the staff. But there's so many possibilities, so many choices. There's no way to know which ones are right. You used to run part of the Japanese Brotherhood. What would you do? Take things one step at a time, observe their act, or kill everyone and search their pockets for answers. You decide. Thanks for watching our backs, Kiyoshi. I'll leave you to your work. I'll report in if Abstago drops by. Looks third echelon. Or is it fourth? Too bad we had to leave before we could drink some more caribou. I wonder if the Fry Twins would still recognize London. A rooftop's still a rooftop. Ugh. Are you sure you want to go back into the Animus right now? I get the impression you'll be there a long time. Yes. I'm ready to go back to Cassandra. All right. I'll be watching your back.
My spear is stronger now. The cult won't stand a chance. Well, Herodotus will be happy. It's clear someone was here far before we were. Did Leonidas know this place existed? You're not hard to track. Did you come alone? Are you all right? <laughs> Alexios, you're alive. Don't touch me. <laughs> come on, little brother. You have to tell me everything. What's happened to you? I don't have to tell you anything. I don't know you. Well, I know you. It doesn't matter. There's more important things to argue about. You're right. Like that stunt you pulled with the artifact. It got my attention, if that's what you wanted. What? The artifacts showed the truth. We're family. And we made it out of Sparta alive. <laughs> yes, it did show the truth. It confirmed what I always knew. You threw me off a fucking mountain! You think it's that simple? Come on, Alexios. Let's talk about it. Stop calling me that! I already know what happened that night. Right. Demos. Now him, I don't know. He's a demigod. Worshipped and feared by the cult and all the Greek world. Sounds like a fantasy to me. Did the cult cook that story up too? I'd watch your fucking mouth, or I'll shut it for you. You didn't when you had the chance before, and I bet you won't now. This is stupid. We need to find our mother. Pfft. I'm not interested in reunion. I just want to know what you think you're doing. Same thing as your cult. Looking for Mirini, our mother. They don't need her. Your cultists think differently. She's their next target. If they ever pursued her, it would be to kill her. But if you don't know where she is, that means she abandoned you too. How sad. Even if we were abandoned, we survived. We can go back to the way things were if we can find her. The cult has no interest in sentimentality or family. Its only aim is control. If they're after all of us, there's one less person to find. I killed Nikolaus. Yet here you are acting so righteous, when really, you're just like me. I don't care what you think. I'll find Mirini. Do the right thing. Come with me. What? We could find her. Together. You could help me. <laughs> oh, you think friendship is the answer? Running around like lost children looking for dear mother. You're so weak. It's responsibility, not weakness. I won't abandon the whole family just for spite. Responsibility? Get off your high horse! The cult has a plan, and it won't be interrupted by the likes of you. 
Taking your own mother isn't enough for them? We're not abductors. We're political. Those who don't stand with us, stand against us. And they pay for that mistake. Like me. Like you. I heard you're planning a trip to Athens. When you go, tell Pericles and his elitist scum they're next. The cult let Mirini live. They let Nikolaos live. Why kill them now? Because you live. You brought this on her and yourself. The cult is powerful, but they're mortals. I have the blood of gods, so they think you do too. But they'll see how wrong they are. I'm going after the cult, you know. You've seen our numbers. You've seen what I can do. And you still think you stand a chance. Try me. So having guts runs in the family, does it? <laughs> you claim we have the same blood. So let's see what you can do. We still found each other, brother. I told you not to touch me. Demos! <sighs> Malaka. Herodotus won't believe this. I have to tell him what happened. Was the legend true? Was it magnificent? What happened to you? And your spear? Slow down, Herodotus. My spear's stronger now. I can feel it. You were right. There was some kind of artifact there. It showed me a vision. Of me and my mother. So, the ancient civilization is real. Cassandra, you have no idea the power you possess. All harnessed in Leonidas' spear. That's not everything. Demos followed me here. The cult's already moving, he told me himself. They're going after us. My family, Pericles. Why would he tell you? Unless it was a trap. It doesn't matter. We have to get to Athens to warn Pericles. And we need to find my mother before they do. Then, we go to the Penix. If Pericles is anywhere, he's there. Ready for sale! Waiting your orders, Commander! Jesus! 
salvage! Poseidon! Spare us! Are you scared? Why wouldn't I be scared? Poseidon is testing the Atresia right now! Pray Athena she holds up! Ready, meet me at the Pnyx in Athens. Athens. Let's see what this city has in store for me. The famous Acropolis, a testament to humankind's skill and craftsmanship. of war and wisdom. Does it please you to wonder to watch your city on the verge of battle?
together now for the glory of Athens! Glory for you! <laughs> friends, friends, please! Just because the Spartans are near our walls does not mean we can act like them! A good crop! Shame the Spartans burn the fields where it grew! The Parthenon is glorious, Pericles, but at what cost? How many tree rams could we have built instead? We must not become divided! We are divided! And the Spartans are winning! Act, Pericles, or I will! Oh, good. You came. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Where? To Pericles. <laughs> Stay back. She is no threat to Pericles. I assure you. Ah, Herodotus. It's fine. Let them through. It's good to see you again, Pericles. And you as well. I only wish it were under better circumstances. And who's this? Cassandra. Welcome, Cassandra. And what did you think of your first taste of Athens? I think you did a great job. It's so easy to forget the good someone has done when times become hard. Pericles, we've come to... We must choose our moment wisely and speak our words more privately. Fine. We've come to you on urgent business. As does everybody. I may have told Cassandra you'd invite her to your symposium. You'd ask me to exclude every Athenian and invite an outsider instead. You heard the crowd. They don't need another reason to hate me. If she's working for you, maybe the prying eyes will see her as a servant. I'm no one's servant. Cassandra, this is Athens. If you want something, sometimes you have to play a role. And what exactly is it that you want? I'm looking for a woman who's very important to me. Herodotus said a symposium could be useful for gaining information. He would be correct. I can get you in, although I can't promise the information you seek will be found. Just tell me what to do. First, check on my colleague, Mediochos. He was meant to meet me today, and it's not like him to miss an appointment. Done. My friend, Phidias, needs to be taken out of Athens as soon as possible. Anything else? Yes. There's an ostracism vote taking place that could use your... Uh, influence. Netiochos. You said he was your colleague? 
A politician and ally. He's one of my most loyal friends. Phidias? The famous sculptor? What did he do, exactly? He stands accused of multiple offenses and is awaiting trial. You'll find him under close guard at his workshop. Ostracism? Exile is a term you may be more familiar with. Here in Athens, we vote between two people to decide who should leave. It's between the sophist, Anaxagoras, and another man on trial for impiety. My contact near the Agora will give you the details. I'll do it. I'll expect you to use discretion. That went well. It isn't exactly an invitation, but the promise of one is just as good. Although I'm sure he'll still ask Aspasia if it's okay. So long as it comes. Share, friend. I saw you talking to my associate, Pericles. From what I saw, you weren't doing much associating. That's just politics. Pericles is a good man, a fine man, just not the right man. That's not what I heard. From whose lips? His? He was elected. Athens is the seat of democracy. Oh, it is. It's just that the wrong man is sitting in that seat. Did you actually need something, or did you just want to educate me on the finer points of democracy? Pericles is holding parties for the rich and powerful while we're under siege. What I want is for my people to reclaim control. You could help me. My services don't come cheap. I understand the wills of commerce and the needs of the people. I will pay you handsomely for your services. And how do you want me to help? Help Athens, not me! The Spartans howl outside our city walls. Create chaos among their ranks. Make them suffer as we do. Think about it. Will you take my commission and show the Spartans we are not defeated yet? I have no problem killing Spartans. Good. Kill their commander, Nabis. Destroy their supplies and return to me with proof of your exploits. Show them that we have teeth, too. I'll get it done. Trust me, this is a huge opportunity for you.
you must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there was an ostracism vote, but didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? Anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange him with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does. And he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. should be careful. High security. Someone there. Well, I'm a fool. Is anyone there?
level. Stay away from here! I should do it. I should let Pericles' contact know. What the? I'll find what that was. Nothing. Still glad I checked. from all over the Greek world. You wouldn't think the city was besieged by an army of Spartans. It's done. Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. I apologize for the delay. There was evidence someone attempted to tamper with the votes. Don't worry. The Ostraka are all accounted for. The votes were counted, and Anaxagoras is to be ostracized! Be slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course. Yet, Anaxagoras seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. Yes! 
You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are, and every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? My name is Cassandra. And still, I don't feel I know you. Perhaps I can find out who you are a different way. You want to know me? Knowledge is the one good in this world. Surely you agree. Of course. Knowledge drives everything I do. Then we are the same in that way. Knowledge of when to attack, what weapon to use, or when to use reason instead of violence. We seem to put our love of knowledge into practice quite differently. I use it how I need to. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I did what I was asked to do. And your needs are greater than those of the man you helped ostracize. Still, you raise a fine point. Who is more responsible? Anaxagoras for getting himself mixed up in this? Or you, for simply sealing his fate? Fine, I'm more responsible. But I did it because I have one concern, myself. Then I hope you also think about today, about Anaxagoras, about choice. Socrates, there you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. Later. We have only the finest goods. Until next time. Thank you.
Μόνο τις πλάξεις περίδει δούλους έχει ψυχάς. Stop. I can't let you go any further. It isn't often you see a guard outside of an artist's workshop. I just do what I'm told, stranger. And until I'm told otherwise, no one is going in or out. Stand aside. This is important. So is keeping people out. Maybe you can see Phidias after his trial, if the people spare his life. Phidias and I have been friends for a long time. I'm leaving Athens and I don't know if I'll ever see him again. You won't. And if you want to leave Athens in one piece, you'll go. Now! Everyone has a price. How much drachmi is this going to take? Depends how much you have. Here, take it. That'll do just fine. You tell anyone I did this and you're as good as dead. Funny. I was going to say the same to you. Sorry about that. How did you get past the guard? No one gets past the guard. Relax. Pericles sent me. Ah, praise Athena. I knew he'd send help. I was worried they sent someone after me. He sent me to get you out of Athens. So he knows about the plot. You mean the trial? From what I've seen, you don't stand a chance. Ah. The people love me. I am the Fidias. But there are others. Look. Malaka. It isn't the trial Pericles is saving you from. These are instructions to murder you. Who wrote this? I don't know who to trust. I'm just an artist. I just wanted to create. Please, what am I to do? First, you need to pull yourself together. You're on trial, the people are against you, and now I find that the cult want to kill you. Uh... I said pull yourself together! Yes, of course. Cleon said you're wasting the people's drachmi. If he had his way, he'd serve them your head. Cleon mentioned me? That's going to hurt Pericles. First impiety, now theft. After all we've done for this city. You and Pericles seem close. For Pericles and me, it started with our love of Athens. Our differences push us to greatness. That is true friendship. All right, we need to go. Do you have any idea where I can take you? South of Athens, there's an island called Seriphos. My friend Theras lives there. When I discovered the plot against me, I sent word to him. If anyone can help us, he can. Any clues he has of the cultists' identities, I want them. Yes, yes, anything. A guard! I'll distract them while you sneak out. Meet me tonight to set sail for Seriphos. Don't show your face until you see me at the docks. I understand. You didn't really think I'd let you come and go as you please, did you? Now, where are you? Oh. 
What do you see? No? Just go! I want them found! As you say, sir! Has anyone seen them? Report! Nothing. They haven't disappeared. We'll find them. Coming for you, Mistios! It'll be trouble if I'm spotted here.
κάνω επειδή είναι έλεγες πολύ Ότι ούν επιθυμείτε ο άντρες και γυναίκες Με καλάσεις πόλεμος, απαξί, τα εμπορεύματα και τα εξή λοιπόν If I meditate, maybe Fidias will be here when I'm done. Good. You made it. I was beginning to worry. I told you I'd get you out of Athens. So you did. Can your friend be trusted? Theras and I have been friends for a long time. I just sent word telling him where to meet us. Wasting time will only get us into trouble. Let's head to Serifos while we still can. ahead of us. That, my friend, is the famous island of Salamis. The place where Athens defeated the Persians. It's in this bay that the great Athenian strategos Aristocles. Attack! Ready yourself for impact! Hopefully, the cult won't bother me now I'm out of Athens. Commander, they are trying to rob us! Get the oars ready! trying to do that at all. I simply don't find myself traveling the seas very often. It can be free. Yes, free seems to be an accurate word. Although I've begun to feel a bit sick. Be over the side if you need to. Otherwise you're killing me. Is your stomach turning as much as mine is? You'll get used to it. We'll reach Serifos before long.
Hospital stations!
It's good to see you alive and well, Thidias. And you, Thiras. As you can see, I didn't get here alone. Ah, yes. The kind and thoughtful hero you mentioned in your letter. I'm glad I could get him out alive. And for that heroism, I found some information on a man named Brisson who's plotting Phidias' early demise. Hopefully you can make something of this clue. I can. Please give Pericles my thanks and my farewell. And be careful. I still believe many in Athens are in danger. I swear on my life and the lives I will take from others, I will not fail the cosmos again. I'll see you all at the selection ceremony, ladies. I especially hope you show up. Let me guess. He's rich. That's Etios, the scion of the most influential family in chaos. And his wife choosing ceremony is tomorrow. <sighs> we need Eros' blessings to be picked. You hope to marry into riches. No! My feelings are for Etios, not his wealth. Your eyes tell your true feelings. I... I feel like you're making fun of me. You better start praying like the rest of them. <laughs> no, I have to stand out. If I do what everyone else is doing, I'll never be picked by Eros or Etios. I need to do something. Anything. Anything? Yes, anything. <laughs> Eros? 
Please, his ears are stuffed full with the prattling of these women. Let me help. I am a witch of Ekati, goddess of witchcraft and magic. I know just the thing. A love potion. Ridiculous. Love potions are a myth. I'll buy it from you, please. Sell it to me. And don't let the others hear you. I don't need your drachmi. I spread the word of Ekati freely. But... A love potion is tailored to the imbiber. I have to make one just for you. And once you've drained every last drop of it down your pretty throat, you will exude pure, irresistible beauty. Aetios will fall in love with you instantly. First, we'll need two things. A cask of the finest wine and some wild mushrooms. Uh, but... Where can I find that at such short notice? I'm sure the Mistios could procure these items for you. Please, Mistios. Please, you've got to help me. In the name of love. And a lot of Rahmi. Well, I'll give you all I've got. If Etios picks me, I'll be sure to give you even more. Ugh. Fine. I'll get the ingredients for your love potion. The finest wine isn't much to go on. How will I get it? A shipment of expensive wine was lost in a shipwreck recently. Look around the wreckage in Pirate Bay and you'll find a cask or two. If it hasn't already been pillaged by pirates. It's beached on the west coast of the island. Where will I find wild mushrooms? No, no. A new shipment of very special mushrooms has arrived at the customs warehouse. Fetch me some of those. That's all? I'll see to the items. Excellent. Meet us at the temple on the hilltop when you're done. Pirates haven't gotten here yet. That must be the shipwreck she was talking about. I better take a look. I would have sworn it came from here. Huh? What? Oh. Nice bit of coin on you for a day's work. Really? 
We should start the torture fire. Huh. Play priests side was not. by side. Make them scream together. <laughs> huh? We need to check this one out. Stay alert. Uh. What the? Hey! Uh. all the wine left. The looter stripped the shipwreck clean. That's the warehouse. The wild mushrooms will be in there somewhere. Customs warehouse. Better get looking for those mushrooms. I was expecting a better fight. I probably could have taken on another three of them, too. You won't have to believe me, but if you want to live, you'll stay close to me next battle. You can't be here, Cell Sword. Leave now. Ah! 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 
Watch will be vigilant here. That's the warehouse. The wild mushrooms will be in there somewhere. Customs warehouse. Better get looking for those mushrooms.
return. Miss the old, we are over here. Here's everything you asked for. Now, I just need a more personal artifact. The last ingredient. I've come this far. I'll see it through. What else do you need, witch? No, no. What I need, the girl can provide. I'll give you whatever you need to be with Etios. We'll just need a little snip of your beautiful locks. Your part in this is done, Mistios. Come to the selection ceremony at Aetios' house to witness the fruits of your labor. It's the one overlooking the sea. You've got to come! Once Etios picks me, I'll make sure to pay you your due. I hope he has deep pockets. His love didn't come cheap. Come. There's much left to do. See you at the ceremony, Mistios. Sorry, my love. Give me a moment. Some peasants need my attention. You said a little bit of her hair. Explain this. <laughs> Explain? It's clear. Beautiful. Gullible. Idiot girl falls prey to her competition. She set me up! Ethios picked her instead! <laughs> He didn't even take a second look at me. Why would you do such a thing? Aetios can be no one's but mine. I'm the one who truly loves him. I grew up with him. I've always been the one looking out for him. You think I'd let some starry-eyed fledgling after his wealth steal the love of my life from me? Aetios doesn't know what's good for him. He's been eyeing this one for a while now. He liked the way she looked. So I changed that. <laughs> what happened to the potion? Why, she drank it. And look, it worked wonderfully. <laughs> she added a lock of my hair to the potion and then made me drink it. I didn't feel anything strange at the time, but when I did, all my hair, it just began to fall off. What trickery is this? You used her hair in a spell? A spell? Are you idiots? If only something so convenient existed. It's simple alchemy. With a little knowledge of poisonous local flora, anything is possible. And wild mushrooms are known to cause violent reactions. But honestly, I've never seen anyone go bald. Just a horrible rush at best. This went better than I expected. <laughs> I was promised Rahmi. Just give it to me. I didn't sign up for any of this drama. Technically, the girl asked you for the items, not me. She's making fools of us both! Kill her, Mistios! You're crazy. You'll pay for this. She played the game and she lost. There's nothing to pay for. You believe she's innocent in all this? She tried to get ahead with magic. So spare me the hypocrisy. Just leave and take your bald friend with you. Please, Mistyos, do something. Guards, there's a witch in our midst. What are you doing? The Mistyos speaks the truth. 
Look what they did to me. She poisoned me and made me hideous. Someone, please help. Ah, you watch your back, Mistios. I'll have your head. What's a little girl doing in a clay pit? Oh, Mistios! Hi, Mistios. I'm just preparing something for my friends. I've been here all day, but I still need more clay. I need enough for all of them. What you're doing for your friends is very nice. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Really? You think so? I was thinking of getting them some other things, though. You're a generous friend. What do you want to give them? I want to give them some nice jewelry. <laughs> you mean jewelry? That's what I said. You don't look like you could afford any, honestly. I know. That's why I was going to get some shiny stones in the abandoned mines and a few pearls from the lagoon. But I've been stuck here all day with the clay and the abandoned mines are kind of scary. Do you think you could help me get some gifts for my friends? It makes them happy and that'll make me happy. I'll make some gooey for you too, for helping me. Gladly, young lady. I'll see to it you get the best pearls and shiny stones. And I wouldn't mind some jewelry myself. Yay! Thank you. You're really nice for a big scary looking person. These pearls you talked about, where can I find them? North of the clay pits, in the lagoon. They're just sitting there in the water, but there are some big sharks in there. Be careful. Where are these abandoned mines with your shiny stones? The mine is in the meadow, west of the temple. I'll see what I can find. Where are all your friends? They'll be coming soon, just a little longer. Speak up, child. I can't hear you. Never mind. I'll introduce you to them later. Okay, that's all I need to know. I'll see you later. I should be done here soon. Meet me at the cliff overlooking the lagoon, okay? I'll introduce you to my friends. Thanks, Mithios. That's the lagoon with the pearls. This is the lagoon the little girl mentioned. enough pearls?
mines. That's where the shiny stones are. Abandoned mines with the shiny stones. and the shiny stones. I should return to the little girl. here sooner than I thought she would. Mistyos! You made it just in time! My friends have finally arrived! I don't see anyone else here but us. <laughs> what? Silly Mistyos, can't you see them? They're right over there! The one on the left is Theo, and the one on the right is Erla. They look... friendly. But I don't think they really count as your friends. What do you mean? They're my friends. I made them. I know you made them, but that... Mother told me to make friends, Mistyos, and I did. This isn't a way to make friends. Tell your mother that... I can't! She's dead, Mistyos. Mother is dead. She joined the pirates. Told me she'll bring back so much drachmi. We could swim in it. But, but, but one day she came back, Mistyos. Her favorite white robe was all red. And she told me to take care of myself and make more friends. But I've never had any friends. I didn't know what she meant. 
So I thought really, really hard and made my friends out of clay. Did I make a mistake? Matur won't be upset at me, right? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. You can't do this anymore. W what are you doing? Those are for my friends. They are not your friends. They are lumps of clay. <laughs> You need to make real friends. Go into the towns, find children your age. You cannot live out here alone. But all the town folk told me to stay away. They say I'm a cursed girl. Then go somewhere else, find other people. There are still good people left. You just don't get it. You're not me. You don't understand. Go away! Check in on her later. The gods! Why did it have to be snakes? Help me! I believe these snakes will kill me! Get me out of here! Hide! 
Everybody! <laughs> Kill the snakes before it's too late! <laughs> Blessed be the god that sent you here. I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you. I don't think they'd eat you. But they would have certainly killed me. So thank you. I'm always happy to help someone in need. The world could do with more like you. Especially now. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. Do you often get tied up and surrounded by snakes? How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home, dragged me here, tied me up and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh, yes. They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. I'll track them down, Metiochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. of Athens, I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. Snakes. Like the ones that were meant to kill Metiochos. Someone hid the body, though I have a feeling this death was an accident. Ah. <laughs> it looks like the thugs who attacked Metiochos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. This must be the house of Metiochos' attackers. But the letter proves they're just tools in someone else's plan. Whose? What the fuck are you doing sniffing around my house? You attacked Metiochos. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and a body. All here. Ah, oh, poor Actis. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. Why kill Metiochos with snakes? We're prisoners in our own city. Because of Pericles and his crooked friends. The snake dealer told us it's time to send a message. Time they suffered. You can't take the law into your own hands. Now I need to decide what to do with you. Cleon says it's time we took the city back from the elite. Time to fight. Don't matter what you do to us. There will be others who follow our lead. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's a real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. Don't be someone's puppet. Tell me where the snake dealer is. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. 
sells his snakes from there. It's not too late to make a difference, but we have to work together. Maybe you're right. You didn't have to show us mercy. But where do we start? Start here. This district is your home. Ignore the politicians and concentrate on where you can make change. Thank you. We will try. I need to rid Athens of this snake cellar. Thank you for helping us see the truth. You'll feel the sting of my venom! Thank <laughs> you. 
they'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. There's something you need. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good to see you. Want to be spotted here. Yeah. Oh. Where did that come from? without you. Oh! <laughs> 
Big pig. Extra careful in this area.
Be careful not to get spotted.
I need to stay hidden. Choose another path, traveler. The way ahead is not safe. What's the problem? A creature beyond the understanding of mortals claims these grounds. You have been warned. I hope you have a coin for the ferryman. Off we go now.
Is it a big... Will the hurt go away? Tell you what, you have to scare it away. If you roar like a lion, it'll run. Grrr! <laughs> Good job. Now run along home. You must be a physician. Yes, I'm Lycaon. You must be a Mystheus. Are you here for treatment? That depends. Will I have to roar for you too? <laughs> Sometimes the best medicine I can give my patients is a dose of hope. I take it you're not in need of care. I'm healthy as a horse. You look strong and prepared for anything. My patients need mandrake herbs. There's a part of them growing by a little stream southeast of here. Are you too busy to pick them? Too chewy. A pack of wolves is resting near the stream. I'll pay you generously for your trouble. You know how to talk to Mystios. Is that all you want? The mandrake herbs? For now. Bring them back to me, and I'll pack at them for my patients. Then we'll see. I'll bring you the herbs. You said they were southeast of here. Yes, by a little stream northeast of Kira. The flowers haven't bloomed yet, but the leaves are a distinctive grey-green. Thank you. Lycaon said the herbs would be near a little stream. That looks like it. Must be the herbs Lycaon wanted. Mandrake herbs. Time to go back to the physician. Here, I found your herbs. Thank you. I'll prepare these for my patients. Could you please stay a while? I'll wait. I've crossed the herbs so they'll be easier to take. Could you please bring them to my patients? Just tell them they're for me, Lycaon. I thought I brought you more herbs than this. I needed to save a double dose for my grandmother. I'll give it to her soon. Sure. I'll just deliver the rest, then. Thank you. All my patients are in and around the Hora of Delphi. One should be at the animal pens to the west. One is building a house in the northeastern corner. And, uh, one works in the fields to the south. 
Come back here when you're done. I'm sure I can find them. The council is regarded. The medicine he promised. Thank you. Tell me, did he look well? He didn't look sick to me. I've seen him up and walking around at all hours, mumbling to himself. He seems worried. I should bring him some sweets to cheer him up. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Likaon made this medicine for you. Thanks. See, I take care of these beasts, and Likaon takes care of me. Too bad nobody takes care of him, though. What do you mean? His parents died young. His grandmother raised him, but then she was born under a cursed star. Never mind that. He's a good boy. I'm sure he is. These herbs are from Glicaon. Oh, thank you. That physician is so thoughtful and so handsome. It's too bad he's decided not to marry. Why not? He just told me some nonsense about not wanting to burden an innocent woman with his worries. Personally, I just wish he'd been honest and said I'm not his type. I wonder why he'd say that. I delivered all your medicine. Seems you have a lot of people concerned for your well-being. Thanks. Um, my grandmother, Praxithea, I have to bring her the last of the medicine. Will you come along with me to her house? I think I need your help. Yes. I'd like to know what's going on here. Oh, thank you. Please, my grandmother's house is this way. Thanks for coming with me. Would you say you've killed many people? Why do you ask me that? If someone is impious to the point of doing grave injustice to people, as well as the gods, do they not deserve punishment? What did Praxithea do? She spoke false prophecies for years. Those who came to her for advice received only lies. Your grandmother was an oracle? Yes, up on the hill in Delphi. She confessed to me recently that she never heard the gods and only repeated the words she was told. Told by vile people with evil intentions. Exactly. Wars have been fought over those words. She can't be left unpunished. I... My family was torn apart by a false prophecy. If it was one of hers... I may take matters into my own hands. I know what you want to do. You'll just bring more shame on our family. I don't want to do this, Agavi. But for the sake of justice, we can't let Praxithea live. It's out of our hands anyway. Some strange men were searching the village today, looking for her. I brought them here, and they dragged her away. What kind of justice is that? You wouldn't understand. She was an impious old fool. Now we have nothing more to worry about. Who are you anyway? I'm Cassandra. I have also been wronged by a false prophecy. It might have been your grandmother's. If we don't find her, we can't settle any of this. Please help me figure out where she's been taken. I'll look for clues. What did you expect me to do? All that talk about killing? A solution showed up, so I took it. 
That wasn't the way it was supposed to happen. She's my responsibility, not yours. Praxithea must have lost this bracelet in the struggle. But no ordinary thief would have left something so valuable behind. I'm surprised Apollo himself didn't strike her down long ago. This looks like a contract. Deliver the package to the drop-off and don't damage it. If they mean Likaun's grandmother, chances are she's alive. Have you seen anything strange going on around here? Well, if bandits taking over my cousin's farm is strange, yes. What did they do? Gave her a running start. She can't go back there. They've set up camp, and they're armed and dangerous. Interesting. Where is that farm? It's not far west of here, but I wouldn't mess with those bandits. Thanks for the advice. Praxithea was kidnapped and brought to a farm west of here. The bandits were hired to deliver her alive. Thank you for figuring that out, Cassandra. I'm no fool, Likaun. Your sister put Praxithea in great danger, and you've been asking me about killing. Do you want me to end her life? No. It has to be me. I need to kill her. She's your grandmother, and you're no killer. You should give this more thought. She's my responsibility. I don't want her to suffer. That's why I asked you for Mandrake. It's a painkiller. But for now, will you go to the farm to stop those bandits? I don't think I can take them all on myself. Let's go find Praxithea. Thanks, Cassandra. You said the farm was to the west. I'll miss you there. Must be the farm where Praxitia is being held prisoner. They'll be on high alert here.
saving me. I will thank, thank you, my child. We must get away from here. Could more bandits be coming? Please, let's get out of here. For saving me, dear child. Don't thank me, voice of Apollo. Or were those someone else's words you spoke? So you've met my grandson. You're right. I lied to everyone. I am so sorry. The gods should have killed me by now. Instead, they made me live with my remorse. Why did you spread lies? People trusted you. You were supposed to bring them the word of Apollo. I didn't plan to, not when I was chosen to be the Oracle of Apollo. But I met people there who told me I must speak the words they asked, or else my family would suffer for my disobedience. Family? Do you remember telling a Spartan family that their younger child must die? A grieving mother with eyes like mine. I am so sorry for what you have lost. Who wanted you kidnapped? These brutes didn't come up with the idea themselves. Please, don't ask me that. The ones who want to punish me now, the ones who told me what to say, they would bury you alive if I told you about them. The ones with masks and dark cloaks. The cult of Cosmos. Do not speak their name. Did she tell you? Is she the oracle who brought ruin on your family? I'm sorry for what I've done. I accept my punishment. But please, don't let my grandson kill me. Likaon's a good man, a healer. This would break him. No, this is my responsibility. I must be the one to end her. I've killed enough people to know that violence has no end. Better to move on and make the best of the lives the gods have given you. Move on? But you said Praxithea ruined your family. She can do no more harm. Killing her for revenge won't change what happened. Besides, didn't you tell me something about hope? Thank you for your mercy. I promise I will do good with what's left of my days. You're right, Cassandra. I might not be able to forgive my grandmother, not right away. But she can go on with her life, and I with mine. I think you've made the right decision, Likaon. Oh, how do you do this? Decide who lives and who dies. How do you do it, Likaon? All those lives depending on you, needing your healing and kindness. I, I... I think I need you, Cassandra. Not to kill anybody or find anything. Just to stay with me. I'm no healer, but I think you've been through a lot, Likaon. You don't need a mistress in your life. Go back home, and be the physician you're meant to be.
Stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Ugh! 
my venom.
οφθαλμοί μου πεσέβουσι. Supplies. Something's out there.
civilians are scared in their homes by now. They won't come to fight us. Of course not! Who would dare meet us in an open field? Their politics can't save them now. We still have to take the city. And we will. Time Athens will be ours. The gates are shut, no trade can come or go, and an army of Spartans waits for its prey. Absolutely. What have you got? Report. I've not found the slave, sir. Don't lose the scent. Keep at it. As you say, sir. What have you found? Nothing here. I want that feel put the understood for honor. <laughs> 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 You 
can't defeat me. I'm not giving up. What could that be? back here! Prepare to die!
You've returned. Did you bring the proof I asked for? I think this might interest you. I took it from the commander after I killed him. You know what it's about? What do you mean? Your reaction betrayed you. Yes. The man mentioned in this note was on important business for Athens. Who is this man to you? You look concerned. He was only an aide. It was his mission that was important. Why was the messenger trying to get to Mytilini? He was to help distribute supplies to the people there. To help them against their oppressors. I hope this proves I can be trusted to get the job done. Proved you're competent, yes. Trusted? You did read the note. I had to make sure it was proof of what I did. It could have been anything. A good point. And because of this, I have another task for you. I need you to find my messenger, Yerimos. This was the messenger from the note? Yes, it's imperative Yerimos is freed and reaches the ship I've read it for him. Where's the ship I need to take him to? For now, it's safer you don't know. Once you find him, he will tell you. Tell me about this messenger of yours. He's of no significance, but his mission is. Find him so he can complete it. What mission is your messenger on? The fewer people who know, the better. But understand, it is vital to the future of Athens. Where should I look for Yerimos? If the Spartans have him, he'll be in the old quarry. I have it on good authority they're holding all their prisoners there. Don't worry. I'll get this Yerimos of yours to the ship. Ooh. 